You know, I love theater a lot and movies a lot. And I think that the performing arts is my first love. And I think it affects every single thing I do. I think it affects the whole sensibility that I have about dressing people. And I think it also affects my career and where I'm going with my career in the future. I remember when my mom took me to see Follies when I was a tiny kid. It was a beautiful production and there was an element of irony about these old performers and these old ghosts living in a theater. And that's where it all began, from that particular point. I typically love black and white movies from the 1930s. Even when you acknowledge the kind of color elements of the clothes that look like Technicolor, the kind of Douglas Sirk color crazy personality in my work, right? It still goes back to this whole idea of the 30s where like, you know, the body is so present in the clothes. And even if a dress is kind of like corseted, it still feels like it's not so much about the structure of the dress as much as the body wearing the dress. As much as I think about theater, I think about like painting and I think about architecture and I think about nature. It all filters through to this finished product. Every single dress conveys who I am. I mean that. And every single one of these things represents a part of me and a part of my history. It's so easy to make more banal images, you know? I don't want to do that. I want to make images that resonate with people. It can't just be about one thing. It has to be about everything. <laughs>